Today we're going to head over to the studio in Fort Lauderdale called Prana Hot Yoga. It used to be Bikram Hot Yoga and a shout out to Pashi, the owner, who has welcomed me into her studio with open arms. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Jimmy Bark and I've been teaching hot yoga for over 40 years. Was Bikram's most senior teacher for over 18 years. Now recently I did a video called What's Missing in the Bikram Sequence? And one of the main things I believe, in my opinion, that's missing are hip openers. So we're gonna head over to the studio and we're gonna look at five hip opening postures that I've incorporated now in the Barkin Method sequence, in the Hot Yoga sequence and in the Vinyasa sequence. If you're interested in taking a Barkin Method Hot Yoga class with me, look down at the description below. I've sent a link to the Hot Yoga On Demand membership. So we're gonna head over to the studio with Barkin teacher Kat and a big shout out to Kat too, because Kat just earned her 300 hour Bark and Method certificate, which now gives her a 500 hour status. If you're a yoga teacher and you're interested in taking a teacher training program with me, look down in the descriptions below, I've put some links. So the first posture we're gonna look at is a posture called what we call Bajrasana. And as we lay down, because reclining in Sanskrit, Sutta, Sutta Bajrasana, reclining gentle pose. So let's talk about that real quick because I did a recent video called Names of Poses. Not every style of yoga has the same name for the same pose or the same pose with a different name. So what we call Bajrasana, other styles of yoga call Bhadakanasana, which is bound angle. So Bhadra actually was a creation of Shiva. She was the goddess of the hunt, but she's also symbolized by gentle. So people say, well, how can she be gentle if she's the goddess of the hunt? Who knows? I didn't make it up. It's ancient. So going to the studio, Sukta Bajrasana, let's take a look at it with Kat. So when Kat's sitting in this position, it's called Bajrasana, just Bajrasana or gentle or goddess of the hunt pose. When she turns around and lays down on her back, then it's Sukta Bajrasana or reclining gentle pose. So as a beginner, your feet aren't gonna be able to come up as far. So she can have them back a little bit more and the other modification is placing the hands right here in the inner thighs, and that's gonna to help to soften the connective tissue in your hips. As you get a little more open, the feet can come closer in. Hands here, that's gonna help. Take that long exhaling breath, and the long exhaling breath is gonna relax. And then arms by your side, palms up. And there it is, and long exhaling breaths. Just We hold this one a little bit longer than some of the other floor poses so that the connective tissue has a chance to release. So if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing, hit the like button and comment. Any comments you have or questions about any of these poses, put the questions down below. I get to all the comments. So the next pose is called Chitara Parivartanasana. Chitara is belly, Parivartanasana, Pari or Pars is side. So belly side twist. This is a posture that a chiropractor, if he's gonna adjust your lower back, is gonna put you in. It's a posture definitely that came from a different lineage, Krishmacharyans, that's their name. The belly and the lower back are super connected. So it's, even though it's belly twist, it's really a lower back stretch. It's a great adjustment. It's not quite a hip opener. It's a side body and lower back twist, but I put it in my hip opening floor sequence. So let's go back to the studio with Kat and see what we can see. So the next pose in the Barkin Daily Floor Series is reclining belly twist or Jatara Parivartanasana. So Kat's gonna bend her knees up, feet flat. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna push her hips to the right, bring her knees to the left, and then hold her thigh with her left hand, look over the right shoulder. So now what she wants to do is get the shoulder on the ground, the palm on the ground, the underneath side of her rib cage to the ground. As she holds here, this comes down and that's just a wonderful stretch for the lower back. In fact, that's a great assist. You wanna help somebody press here very gently and here and press. And you're gonna see a wonderful opening, not just of the side body, but the lower back. Let's look at the modification. If your hips are really tight and you can't get a good twist here, what you can do, we're gonna have Kat go the other direction this time. So hips to the left, knees to the right, and what you can do is take a block, or if you don't have a block, you can take a towel, bunch up a towel, put it between the thighs. You're still gonna hold the top thigh with your right hand, look over your left shoulder, and that's a wonderful modification to use. Now, 
if you're super flexible and you're in this pose and you're really not feeling anything, what you can do is amplify by eagle wrapping the legs under or over your choice. Now bring your legs down to the ground. At the top thigh, you're looking over your left shoulder. So this is down and what a great stretch for the side body and lower back. The next posture I actually named. Now I've been teaching yoga for 40 years, so I have now claimed the right to name a pose because this posture came from the West. A posture that, it's actually, here's a side note, Emmy Cleves, who was Bikram's most senior teacher, even though Bikram called me his most senior teacher, Emmy was definitely more senior than I was, not just because she was older than I was, but in experience. She actually taught me the advanced class. We started doing this posture together almost at the same time. So it's not part of Bikram's 26 and two, but it's a great hip opening posture because it takes all the pressure off the knees, opens up the hip, also gets into the glute and into the piriformis. So what did I call it? Foot to knee pose or Janu, which is knee, pada is foot. Even though the foot is actually not on the knee, it's just below the knee, it's at the thigh. And, and pada is also leg, but like you can't call it pada pada stasana. So Janu parasana, one because we're gonna do two later. So let's go to the studio with Kat, Janu Parasana one. The next posture in our series is called foot to knee pose or Janu Parasana. She's gonna place her left foot onto her right thigh, just below the knee. Even though it's foot to knee pose, it's really foot to thigh pose. All she's gonna do is take her left hand at her left hip and push the thigh back. She's pushing back on the left thigh for a leverage, and that's gonna be a really good modification if you need it, if your hips are really, really tight. If you don't need it, the next position, the next step up would be left foot on top of the right thigh. We're gonna take the left hand, shoot it through that hole you just created and interlace the fingers at the hamstring. Sometimes when you're holding the hamstring, you can push this knee back with this arm. So you're pushing the left knee back with the left elbow. The right knee comes in and the left knee goes out. It's really the hip, but the right knee's coming in and the left knees going back, that's the opposite direction we want to create. The next option is you can grab up here, top of your knee, it's really below the knee, at the shin. So you're pulling the knee into that right shoulder. At the same time, you're pushing this knee back. You've got to find the opposite direction. That's what's going to get into the glute and underneath the glute to piriformis. One last thing. Sometimes this foot wants to come down. So you're holding the right knee, lift your right foot up, to parallel, and that is foot to knee pose one. Okay, here we are back in my house. Jhana Parasana two, this is an internal rotation for the hip. We've been doing a lot of external rotations like we did in the Supta Bhadrasana. This now goes in the other direction. This is the internal rotation. Janu Parasana two, let's head over to the studio with Kat and see what this looks like. Next pose is foot to knee pose two, or in Sanskrit, Janu Parasana Dui. So knees up, feet flat. She's gonna step her right foot out to the right side of that mat. She's gonna keep the foot on the ground and draw the knee back into the left. And this is really important. You don't want the knee to cross the center line. You want that knee to be in line with the hip and the shoulder. So make sure the knee, the shoulder, hip, and the knee are in the same line here. Same thing with the foot. A lot of times people have this foot back this way too much. So what we want to do is bring the foot back here. You can flex a little bit. So you've got ankle to knee, knee to hip. That's the right angle. Now the modification is just keeping this foot up and just dropping the knee down. You're going to feel that stretch in the hip. And you can hold it with your hand like Kat just did. And that's going to be a nice stretch for your hip. The internal rotation of the IT band, it's going to be an amazing pose. Now, the actual pose, taking the foot to the outside of the thigh, it's not the knee, just below the knee. And you're going to let this left leg drop to the ground. But this is why you have to have the knee in line with the hip. Because if it's too far over, it's not going to go straight back, because that's the whole idea. We're getting this IT band to stretch as the leg goes straight back. And the weight of this left leg is going to stretch that right thigh. Then the right arm comes over the head, so you get a nice side body stretch, as well as that IT band that's turning internally. And it's just a great stretch, something you got to do every day. And one last thing, if you're not feeling anything, if you're just super flexible in your hips, you can just let this hip rise up. And as you let it rise up, you're going to get a little better stretch 
in the IT band, but this is only for if you're super flexible. That's the last thing, because what you really want to do is try to minimize how much this hip comes up. For the average person, don't let it rise. Try to minimize it and just let the weight of that leg stretch the IT band. Great stretch. And the last posture in the Barkin Hot Yoga hip opening sequence is Ananda Balasana or Happy Baby. So let's break down that Sanskrit word. There's no word for happy or for baby. Ananda is bliss. Ball is child. So Ananda Balasana literally would be blissful child pose, but they nicknamed it Happy Baby. Also a great hip opener. Let's head back to the studio with Kat and see what we can see. And the last posture in the Barkin Method, daily floor poses, is Happy Baby Ananda Balasana. So Kat's going to grab her, the outside of her feet. And she's going to pull down on her feet. So here's what I want you to think about in your mind. As you're pulling the feet, think of the knees dropping to the ground and think of your heels rising to the ceiling in an opposite direction. So it's knees down and heels up. And you got to find, and you can sort of play around to see where that position is for your hip because some people can go a little bit outside some people inside you got to play with it and find that spot where you know you're going to get right into that hip breathe and press now you can also grab from the inside she's going to change your grip your choice and same thing you're pulling down on the feet heels to the ceiling in an opposite direction and you're going to play with that angle to see what's right for you and that is ananda balasana happy baby pose so practicing these five poses, Supta Bhadrasana, Jatara Parivartanasana, Jhana Parasana 1, Jhana Parasana 2, and Ananda Balasana. These five poses, these hip opening poses, I guarantee, especially if you're in the Bikram world, do these poses on a daily basis. I'm actually going to post a video of a flow of these five postures together so you can do them in sequence. But this will open your hips. This will transform your practice guaranteed. That's our episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Jimmy Barkin. been teaching hot yoga for 40 years. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell. You get notified when I post a video. And smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. I appreciate that. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you the next video. Bye, everyone.